Right, here's a new Super Side Fish Bivy from Chubb. And as you can see, it's got everything you want in one bag. So it comes with the over for the dual swim for either a bit of winter fishing or if you're going to France and somewhere that's really warm, or you just want to make the bivy a little bit bigger. We'll get out that way for the minute. We've got the mozzie wrap. And we've got a heavy duty ground sheet as well. But here is the bivy itself. And it also comes with enough pegs to peg it down on all the different peg points. Oh, let's just get the bag out of the way. So as you can see, it's a pretty much tried and tested uh, pram hood type design, rather similar to the already established other side fishes. It's just the next step forward. So this is just a quick demo of how easy it goes up. So the first thing to do is just straighten it all out. And then it's a simple case of just attaching the poles. Once the last one's attached, you just get the tension strip, hook it onto this little loop here, and run it across the other side, just to tension it up and create the dome effect. And as you can see, just goes up like a uh, like a pram wood. We then need to get these tensioning poles to help support it. Now back in the old days these bivvies just used to peg into the ground but a lot of people prefer open fronts such as myself so it's a lot easier just to get these straps just to just keep it all tensioned. So this one fits into the nice little slot there. Undo the two bolts, click it into place, and then tension it out and tighten it back up again. As you can see, there's a couple of different ends here. So we'll need this, and there's one more for the porch as well. Now I personally don't use all the pegging points, I just use the major ones, and that normally does me unless there's a, a big storm on the way. And these other pegging points are pretty much self-explanatory. Put a peg through, tension it, push it down, and stick the bundy strap over the top for extra security. Now what we've got here, we've got another pegging point from the internal ventilation material. So we just put that in the same slot as that, pull it both tight, and peg it down. Now as you can see, here's the bivvy set up. And it is pretty sturdy, you know, I can lean on this, and I'm not exactly light. Now, these bars are quite solid, especially this back bar here, which is the main supporting bar. That's not going to go anywhere. You know, you can, you can throw some pretty nasty conditions at that, and that's going to stay in place. Um, this is the door panel, so you can have the, the door panel completely down, or you can seal it back to get a waterproof see-through panel, if that's what you prefer, or pull it back a bit more to get the mozzie panel. The door goes up, as you'd expect, so you can roll it up and put it at the top, or you can zip it down if you like that kind of letterbox type format. Um, but how I like to fish it, if I just quickly pull these pegs out, I like it with an open front. So I can lie on the bed chair, I can see all the water, and I can see what's cracking off. Because I'm a bit of a lazy angler, and I tend to stay in bed a bit longer than what I should do at dawn, I'm not very good at getting up, especially when my sleeping bag's nice and warm. So, I tend to just zip this back all the way back, but leave it zipped in just at the end. And I'll fold all that back in in one place. And as you can see, this is inside the bivvy. It's pretty spacious. This is the one man version. I dare say you can probably just about fit two bed chairs in here, but um, you know, it's, it's, it's designed for one man, you know, probably the larger bed chairs, which are, which are quite fashionable at the minute. And it's, it's more than comfy. And you've got the porch as well for that extra bit of protection, should it uh, throw it down with rain. Now what I like about this is, I always leave the bottom few inches just, just zipped in. So 
should it start chucking it down in the middle of the rain and the wind change around and start blowing in, you can quickly, even without getting out of your bag, just zip it over. To give yourself full protection. And it's just a, it's just a nice little feature. Or if you prefer the full mozzie, the full mozzie's there and, uh, and ready for your use. Let me show you the over up. Right, now that's the bivvy set up, nice and solid. So I'm just going to demonstrate how to put the overwrap system on. Now overwraps are fantastic in winter for keeping out the condensation, keeping it warm, and even keeping it cool in summer. That, that, that dual layer of um, material seems to trap the air and makes all the difference. It's nice and easy to put on, I'll just demonstrate it. So just grab the overwrap and just throw it on. Pull it around the back. Make sure the back's at the back and the front's at the front if that makes any sense. And just ease it down to its all in position. And uh, grab a couple of pegs. Now here's a little cheat if you're a lazy angler like me. Instead of uh, pegging down the overwrap, if it's not particularly windy, all I do is just kind of loop that little strap over the existing peg. You know, as, as long as there's no big gales blowing, that'll be fine. Now another very interesting feature about the bivvy is the rear ventilation actually on the overwrap itself. Now most bivvies tend not to have that, well most bivvies from my experience tend not to have it, but that's very very useful for say when you're fishing long sessions in the summer and you want that airflow through, or if you're fishing in winter the bivvy can get quite dark, you know, especially with low light levels and, and whatever else, so I tend to just unzip that in the daytime just so I can get a bit more light into the back of the bivvy and, and, and see what I'm doing. Very useful that. Right, now here's the heavy duty ground sheet. As you can see there's a little clip here and that'll actually clip into the D-rings of the bivvy itself so you don't need the tension strap so you can just clip it in just using the ground sheet and then you've also got some little uh, elasticated straps to a D-ring. Now you can use these to uh, to peg through the pegging point so you, your ground sheet's nice and spread over the bottom of your, over the bottom of your bivvy. Fantastic little feature. Personally, you know in, in days like today I like to just spread it out in the bottom when the weather gets a bit nicer in the middle of summer, I won't use one at all, but uh, everybody has their own little things and everybody uses the, the ground sheet the way they like to. Now as you can see, this is my Chubb Super Sci Fish already set up with all my kit inside. Now, I've got my bed chair in, I set this quite far forward so I can see as much water as possible. So there's plenty of space at the back as well as space at the front. It's pretty solid. I'm, I'm sure this can put up with anything that Mother Nature can throw at it. And it's easy to set up, so all in all I think it's a pretty good bivvy and it's going to be a very good seller. Thank you.